let's just talk a little bit about you know how these type of attacks happen and, and what we can be doing. Uh, I'll just start right now with basic hygiene. So often in large organizations, it's something so silly as uh, you know patching, scanning. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, just your, your licenses are, are expired. <laughs> no one sees it or no one does anything about it. So I'm going to talk a little bit about basic hygiene. Uh, and usually it's the vulnerability management tools that, that help you do that. Mm -hmm. uh, Rapid7, Tenable, Qualys are, are kind of the main IBM radars. Uh, is IBM still out there a little bit? But those are the, the major three we see. So maybe you could just talk to us, sir, about your thoughts and strategies around basic security hygiene and, and when it comes to vulnerability management. Yes, definitely. We are definitely uh, aware of uh, those uh, attacks. Like uh, like 20 years ago, when I joined in the security, uh, it, it was a down and up, like a SCADA environment, uh, which was like uh, under attack. Uh, and the problems that we had then are the same ones that we have now. Uh, the technologies, as you said, are very easy to implement, like uh, the uh, vulnerability management, assessing like the patching of uh, your enterprise assets, uh, not only in SCADA environments, but also in border uh, border line like approach, like a like a just your antivirus, your EDR, your XDR, or whatever. Uh, having a complete uh, gamut of products is not viable because, like, uh, as we said before, the budgets are not ever expanding. Uh, but having like uh, uh, technologies which you master fully and which cover the whole gamut of your enterprise network environment is definitely the key. Uh, we notice like around, like uh, I'm part of the CESAN, which is the uh, national club of uh, uh, experts in cybersecurity in France. And we notice like uh, time after time that the, the spending sometimes is limited to only a part of your enterprise network and not the whole enterprise network, thus leaving gaps in the coverage uh, where attackers are very glad that they're finding uh, loopholes in your uh, protection. Thus, like, a, uh, like yeah, Tenable, uh, uh, whatever the technology that you're using, uh, what is necessary is for full coverage of your enterprise network, not only like external IP-facing uh, assets, uh, but also your um, servers or whatever. Uh, sometimes we notice that uh, uh, proxies are only deployed on uh, uh, like a net, uh, desktops and laptops, but not on servers. Uh, so yeah, people go browsing on the, those uh, assets where they know that the coverage is not performed. So the vendors, as you say, like as you see on your graph, uh, yeah, they they are all good. Like uh, the 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 way that uh, people need to act on those uh, assets and like on those uh, coverage mediums uh, is definitely key uh, to to good protection. Yeah, it's, it's a valid point from a strategic standpoint. You, you have to make sure that you have uh, full coverage. And that's usually mm -hmm. the, the term I hear a lot is uh, defense in depth or, or layered that's security. Cool. Uh, obviously, cool. not one of these are going to, to help, but uh, they all need to work in tandem. And we'll get into a little bit more about the, the importance of EDR, XDR, and even edge mm -hmm. security and, and how that's growing. But if, if I could just stick with this for one more minute on the vulnerability management plays, uh, I have had a lot of your peers say to me that a lot of times it just goes back to basic uh, hygiene and maintenance and that you have to have good scanning and patching and just to, to even know where to begin, to know what your own vulnerabilities are. Uh, mm -hmm. In our own data, we're seeing that Tenable is actually leading the pack over uh, Rapid7 and Qualys is really starting to fall behind uh, in, in the spending intentions among you and your peers. And I was just wondering if maybe 
as an active pr practitioner, if you maybe had some insight into why uh, your peers are, are tending to move more towards the Nessus based tenable platform. Uh, I do know Rapid7 is being very uh, aggressive in offering new, um, you know, types of functionality all the time. Any, any understanding of maybe why Tenable seems to be leading Qualys and Rapid7 these days? Uh, I definitely think because they have a more holistic approach. Uh, Qualys has always been, and since uh, 2008, uh, a very uh, a precise uh, technology on like uh, websites. Tenable is more holistic. They do like a, a server vulnerability. They do like a, a in depth, like a, a credentialed and not credentialed uh, scanning. Uh, Rapid7, uh, as you say, is very aggressive on, on, on the approach. Uh, but Tenable uh, is like a, based on a uh, open source, like available uh, technology. Uh, it's like existing like uh, for, I, I don't remember, like 15 years. And right. it's an approved approach. Like it's uh, uh, something which uh, renders like uh, pretty good results. Like uh, the uh, level of uh, uh, false positives in the scans are going down with the credential scanning. Uh, and like uh, some other like uh, vendors... Um, are still like uh, getting like a uh, 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 quite a few false positives, like uh, because uh, as we said before, like uh, the holistic nature of the coverage is not so good. So like uh, it, it's both a, a fact that uh, Tenable may be less expensive in some regions than a, a Qualys or a Rapid7, but that's just a commercial approach that you have to have with your vendors on coverage. I really do appreciate that feedback. Thank you. And, and yeah, false positives are such a problem because security fatigue is very real. Yes. And this is just one tool we're talking about, right? We'll get into the, the XDR, the EDR, and all your other endpoints and your edge. And if you have false positives at each of those all dumping into a SIM, uh, it becomes costly. <laughs> it becomes tiring. Yes, and and other people in, in the approach, in the loop of uh, vulnerability management and patching, uh, after two times that you tell them like, a, oh, you need to put that patch on, on that system. And, and they ask you, but it's not what you think it is. Mm -hmm. And uh, after a couple of discussions uh, with that, like uh, they lose traction. You, you lose traction with them they don't want to deal with you anymore uh, because you're not pertinent enough on, on your approach.